Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on The Witcher 2. We're going to be heading back into the city. What happened to Saskia? She's alive. Wounded from our scrap, but alive. She impaled herself on a tree, and then I had to use that dagger. But she'll make it. Mountain air is good for a dragon's hide. You're the most noble human I know, Gwynblade. I'm no human. I'm glad you reminded me. My hatred for the species abated for a moment. What about Letho? Strange thing. He sits in the Temerian's former camp. I believe he awaits you. How do you know? I saw him. He's got Triss. Let's go. Tell me what happened here on the way. While you were fighting Saskia, the city was staged to a bloody spectacle. The players? There were many. At first, it was a hunt for the traitors, but it soon turned into a hunt for all mages. And there were a few skirmishes between Kedweni, Redanian, and Temerian troops. Rape, pillage, and murder. Not necessarily in that order. The pastimes of the Order's pious knights. And the regular troops soon followed suit. The kings, with their choice units, left the city just after the dragon attacked. And the Nilfgaardians? Remained neutral. That is to say, they shot anyone who dared approach their camp. So I wonder if it's just the fight with Letho and we're done, or, or what? What's about to go down? <laughs> When we're done with you, you'll be a lump of whimpering meat. Elf! Killed a non-human. That was a grave mistake, my friends. Grave mistake. Spally! Grave mistake! One down, and one to go, and Die, my tank hit him. Dwan. How does it feel get raped in a corner? Beasts! Bloody sons of bitches! Will you be alright? Yes, thank you. Leave me. What happened here? When the summit ended, we hid in one of the houses. But they found us. They cut off both my sister's hands so she wouldn't cast spells. But I managed to escape. They caught me here. Let's go, Gwynblade. This is madness. Your grief has changed. That's what it looks like now. This is fucking crazy, dude. Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Come on, buddy. Let's go over here. We'll get out of your friend's aggro ring. And I'll kill you quickly. Yep, yep, you're dead. Now oh, we got these two idiots with shields. Come here. Let's get away from the other captain so I can beat you to death. There you go. You're dead. Oh, that's cute. That was cute, Nilf Guardian Captain. That was a cute little hit you got in there. Oh, look at, look at, look at your Beth. Destroy him in the corner. Let's go ahead. I did level up once. Let's go ahead and do that. Um. Igni sign enables to hex up to two opponents. Shh. What the hell? Oh, I have to go here. Uh, I probably should have looked at what these were. Yep, yep, yep. I should have looked because that was a better... Oh, hey, you guys are not friendly. Die, they took forever to aggro. So I was confused on what the hell was happening. 
Come here! Yeah, you're dead. How do we get in there? Finish your story. I managed to sneak into the Nilfgaardian camp. It was relatively quiet there. Then I saw Letho leading Triss out. They let him go? No one dared stop him. I followed him. I think he noticed me, but didn't seem to care. Once the fighting died down, he went to the former Temerian camp. Is Triss all right? Yes. Letho defended her from marauders. I'm gonna get my ass kicked by Letho. You know when you just have that feeling? Yeah, I got that feeling he's just gonna kick my ass. Can we open the door? Let's do this. Letho, you stupid son of a bitch. I think it's about time I kicked your ass. Stop, Yorvith. I'm going alone. Why? This is between the two of us. Take care of Triss until I return. Your choice. Mine, indeed. There's one more thing you need to know. Nilfgaard's armies have crossed the Yoruga. War is inevitable. Va fail, Gwynblade. Don't get killed. Farewell, Yorvith. If I don't return within the hour, find Saskia and leave without me. Are you all right? Yes. He saved me from the Nilfgaardians. And defended me from the troops. It's time to end this. Yorvith's waiting. I'll catch up with you soon. Geralt, he knows a lot. I know, Triss. That's why we need to talk. Don't get killed, Witcher. I won't. Took you a while? Is that bobble from Sheila's megascope? Mm-hmm. My final prank. I switched the diamonds. The one in the megascope has a flaw. Minute. But just large enough to warp the teleport. The Emperor's magic theorists assured me the effect would be spectacular. Oh, it was. Good. Had she lived, she would have suffered more intensely and much longer. She helped me quite a bit, through naivety and pride. I would not have gotten far without her. Hmm. So, ready to lay your cards out on the table? No matter the game, there comes a point when all the players need to show their cards. I love that moment. But first... Vodka. I only drink with friends. What about old acquaintances? Hey? Recovered your memory yet? Not entirely. Remember how we first met? Yeah, I saved your life. Couldn't think of a nicer way to pay me back? Frankly, I couldn't. I mean, taking care of another man's woman, Yennefer. I can't fathom what you saw in her, but I suppose there's no accounting for taste. The winter solstice 1270. Middenvern, the night of magic. Letho wasn't lying, the hunt had stopped. At the hanged man's tree, the spectral riders selected from among those they had taken. Yennefer was among them. A wraith cannot be killed, only driven away. Every witcher knows that. Yet the riders fell beneath the blows of our witcher's blades. Crimson blood flowed from under their dead men's armor. We could not kill them all. They were simply too many. A stalemate. He was different from all other elves. There was no shame in his gaze. He had never suffered persecution. He had endured no massacres. Humans had not taken his land. This elf was not of this world. He was an invader. We struck a deal. My soul for that of Yennefer. He agreed without hesitation. Back with me, friend. 
got the feeling you left for a minute. Memories. I remember the hanged man's tree and the wild hunt. I remember the exchange. Me for Yennefer. So, cards out on the table. Unless you chase me all that way just to kill me. I chased you for lots of reasons. You owe me some explanations to start with. Let's say I do. Care to tell me what it was all about? Hmm. Kill as many rulers as we could. Lay the blame on the sorceresses. Breed chaos. Prepare the north. Soften it before the invasion. And you know what's incredible? We could not have imagined more fertile soil. No matter what the war's outcome, the northern monarchs will accuse one another. Pursue their God-given rights. Seek vengeance and be at each other's throats for years to come. The North resembles a whorehouse on fire, as your friend Dandelion would say. Why are you still here? Why did you wait for me this time? I knew you wouldn't give up. I knew you'd pursue me. And I don't aim to hide anymore. Fact is, only you know the truth about me. Well, and a couple of folks whose word isn't worth spit anymore. I never saw you as a foe. I want to go my way. But if I have to fight you first, so be it. This story ends here and now. How did a Witcher agree to kill humans at another human's bidding? At the Emperor's bidding, Geralt. And he's no ordinary human. The rulers of the North come up to about where his Pauline's end. Why? Simple. He promised to rebuild the School of the Viper. The Witcher's order where I came to be. Witcher's schools in the South fell into ruin long ago. And witchers themselves became internal exiles, banned from entering most cities. Besides Serret and Ox, I know of two other witchers of the School of the Viper, who should be alive and on the path. I don't know where they are. Haven't seen them for years. Now they can come out of hiding. They can come home. How did you know where we'd find the Wild Hunt? Every Witcher who wears the Viper around his neck knows the place. We had so many books and scrolls about the Hunt that I used to think our school was founded for the very purpose of solving the riddle of the Spectral Riders. Know who they are? You know the true identities of the Riders? From what I understand, they're some damn elven race. But they turned out to be a big ruse. The legendary omen of war proved to be a fairground attraction. No Market Square mage could possibly conjure up a cavalcade of wraiths speeding across the sky. Then there's the amnesia. No, there's something more, I assure you. Go ahead, enlighten me. I can tell you want to. There are a lot of legends and myths about it, but the Wild Hunt is a fact. I've fought and killed many of its wraiths. They were spectral emanations, the avatars of real riders. The riders we ran into by the hanged man's tree. Are you telling me you were carried off by elves? Real material sons of bitches like the ordinary kind we deal with in this world? They may be ordinary in their world, but they're strangers in ours. The conjunction of spheres, know the theory. Do you know how monsters appeared in our world? There's not a witcher who doesn't know that. So you know there are other spheres. The most powerful of our mages can open passages between these worlds, and they usually do that to summon the monsters we then have to hunt. The elves we saw come from another world, and they weren't summoned. They found the way on their own. It's not exactly easy, so they usually send their spectral emanations. They come in person on special missions. As they did for you and Yennefer. Mm-hmm. So, elves from another world and their trained wraiths. 
What did they want from you? I've got an idea. But that's not your concern. Tell me about Yennefer. What happened after I departed? She was feverish for several days. Delirious. In agony. We thought that was it. She was on her way out. Somehow she recovered. But even then she was disoriented. Amnesia like you. What then? Well, the woman turned out to be quite a character. Throwing temper tantrums. Trying to seduce Ox. Trying to drive a wedge between us. After you so nobly sacrificed yourself, we thought it'd be dumb just to leave her somewhere. She wouldn't have survived more than a month. The whims and vigor of a duchess, but she was just a sorceress with no memory. We were in the heart of the Empire. And as I'm sure you know, Geralt, in Nilfgaard, mages who behave like that either drop their bad habits quickly, or are drawn and quartered by horses in the middle of Victory Square. So I heard. So we set out, wandered through the provinces. Everywhere we went, she got in trouble and we pulled her out. And then one day they captured us. The Imperial Secret Police. Me, Ox, Sarit, and Yennefer. Imperial Secret Police? Mm-hmm. We were separated, and they questioned us. Long and thoroughly. But it was uneventful. No violence. That's how I met Vatia de Rideau. And a couple of weeks later, the Emperor himself. Me. A simple witcher. What happened to Yennefer? I don't know. Never saw her again. The Emperor offered me a mission in the Northern Kingdoms. As for Yennefer, I had the feeling she was somehow important to Emir. As I see it, they learned of the Lodge from her. Those Imperial spooks have their ways. All I heard is that Vatier had his men watch Yennefer closely throughout the time she was at the palace. Then we went off to slay the kings of the north. And that's where my knowledge ends. So she's in the Empire? She was when I left. I'm done talking. Let's finish this. Want a fight? Any vodka left in that bottle? A swig apiece. Here. The Imperial Army is probably crossing the Yoruga as we speak. Pure pandemonium will ensue. The North's finished. Time to go south, where the good life awaits. You're a fool, Letho. Both you and your Emperor are forgetting one thing. Misfortune brings people together. Very shortly, the North could be united like never before, thanks to you. But that's just not my concern anymore. I'm not your foe. I never was. Let me walk away and I will. You'll never see me again. Force me to fight, and this time I'll kill you. Okay, where's my autosave? Oh, it's all the way back here, dude? Dude. If I had an autosave closer, I do... Hmm. I'm gonna let him walk away. I think I'm gonna let him walk away. I've learned all I wanted to know. I can feel the memories coming back. Your death won't change a thing. Go where you will. Just like that. No threats. No words of wisdom. Are you going or not? <sighs> Farewell, Geralt.
The Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the Kingslayers. Along the way, he had met both the righteous and scoundrels, Bernard Lerito amongst the latter. Lerito sold Flotsam to Kedwin and scattered the local non-humans to the four winds. Flotsam became a military base. Its civilian population was resettled. In Edern, the Witcher witnessed Saskia the Dragon Slayer achieve a great victory. The Pontar Valley, previously Upper Edern, became a promised land for outcasts who dared dream of freedom. Even sly old Zoltan Chive came to believe in this land of bliss. Yet dark times approached for the architects of the New Order. Dark clouds had been gathering over Temeria since Fultest's death. Stripped of its king, the land was like a rich cloth which nobles began to shred. These minor scavengers, however, scurried off in fear when true predators reached out for their prize. The summit at Loch Muin sealed the fate of Fultest's realm, when Radovid of Redania and Henselt of Kedwin divided it between them. A tempest descended on the north, at least partly the work of manipulative mages. It seemed the turmoil in Temeria, Edern, and Kedwin would benefit them most. Common folk turned against sorceresses and all magic freaks, witchers included. Castles that had hitherto welcomed mavens of the magic arts now shut their gates to any who sought shelter there. A witch hunt ensued. It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished by royal decree. Yet as troubled as the day seemed, we, who had in some way shaped the world's fate, finally received some respite. Zoltan resumed the quest for his beloved's hand, and I laid my head in the laps of the muses. Who could have known this tempest which had ravaged the north was but a harbinger of darker days, and the preamble to an entirely new tale of Geralt of Rivia? All right, so there it is, Witcher 2 complete. Um, I, don't, I, I think there's DLC for this. Uh, I'll have to figure out how to do the DLC, but we picked up 80 more gamer score, I think. Uh, finish the game by sparing Letho. Obviously, you can finish it by killing Letho. Then finish the game at any difficulty. Let's see here. So... Not too much gamer score. Uh, same with The Witcher 3. You gotta really like do all the side quests and all that stuff to get all of the achievements. Uh, let me see where the case is for The Witcher 2. Here it is, I think. Yeah. Okay, so does this have DLC? Um, I can't tell. Uh, here we go. In engine video portraying the profession of the Witcher. Reason of State, a two part action packed digital comic book. Is there not DLC for The Witcher 2? I don't know, hold on, let me get my. Let me look it up on my phone. I don't even know if there is DLC for The Witcher 2. Could just be the base story and that's about it. But I could be wrong, I guess, but we'll check it out. Let me go and see. The Witcher 2 DLC. Oh, here we go. So, I maybe I have to buy these DLCs? I don't I don't know if they just come with the disc. The enhanced edition or the enhanced edition or not. Um, looks like the DLCs, let me see if there's, let's see, um,
Okay, I don't actually think there is any. Oh, so the DLC is already included, and I don't... I think it's not even, like, uh, end DLC. I think it's just, you know, regular... I think it's just, like, in-game content, essentially, is what you, uh... Is what you get out of it. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what it is. Uh, but that's gonna do it for The Witcher 2. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was hella fun. Um... It didn't really have the resolution that I thought it might near the end, but it was still a really good game, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, what I think this... I think we're, like, at part 28 or something like that. 29, maybe, or something close around that. I don't know. Uh, but that this was really fun. Um, I think I'll just let... I think I'm going to let the credits roll, um, and uh, I'll end it after the credits. But this was, uh, was fun. I really enjoyed it. Uh gonna be starting up either uh, Dead Space 3 or an XCOM playthrough next. Uh, I might do XCOM and then do Dead Space 3. Uh, I really wanted to play a little bit of XCOM here, like an XCOM 2 hype uh, playthrough like I've been doing, kind of the Fallout 4 hype videos. Um, and I don't even know what other hype I could do, what other games I could hype. Uh, let's see here. I have a list of all the games, I gotta find them. Here we go. So, I guess I could do like a Tomb Raider, the new Tomb Raider hype, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Um, I don't, I can't really do one for Halo 5 or Black Ops 3. I guess I could do one for Halo 5. Black Ops 3, I guess maybe I could play Black Ops 2, but that's not really exciting. Like, those aren't really games that you do, um, Let's Plays on. Like, Halo, Halo 5 I will do a Let's Play on, but, uh, and then Mass Effect, Andromeda. I don't really need, I don't know. I don't really want to play Mass Effect 3 or two or one really uh i never even beat one i might do maybe i could do one i don't know uh but there aren't too many hypes i could do XCOM is one that i can do i think what i'm gonna do with it is have it uh witcher character based which will be fun i think in my opinion it'll be fun um i'd have like i think i'd have a unit of like Geralt, it'd be like an army of six playthrough, not an army of four, but an army of six. And if, but if any of them die, I have to do X amount of missions before they revive or whatever and stuff like that. Uh, I think that'd be kind of fun. I'll see about doing that. So I'd have like Geralt, Yennefer, Triss, Siri, uh, maybe Zoltan, and uh, I don't know, maybe I don't know, maybe Yorvith. Might do Yorveth, because now I really like Yorveth after this game. I might actually play this game again. I'm not sure. I'm not going to do it now. I don't feel like replaying it, like, right now. But I might actually replay it later in the future and choose the Roach side, opposed to the Yorveth side. And uh, just see how minor or minimal changes there are between the two uh, i would probably be later uh maybe end of august would probably be when i would do it if i do it and um, then i would try to make the opposite choices of the ones i made in this series uh, i've seen a lot of people that did witcher 2 playthroughs do that they but the most of them were like most of them are bigger youtubers or stuff like that or youtubers that uh did the game as soon as it came out uh a while ago um but uh that's gonna that's gonna do it. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'll let the credits play out, guys. But I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in my next uh, let's play. Peace out, guys.
Okay, that was pretty. That was pretty cool little ending there. Let's see, did we get any new extras? I know, like, I left the video and then I came back. Memories and flashbacks. Movie. Okay, we already did that. Let's see what these are. Okay, these are all of Geralt's memories. So that's pretty cool. What is this? Oh, that's the ending. Game ending. Hunt a slaughter of mages. Prince Dennis survives. Those, that's cool. So you can have like a little uh, movie type thing that you can watch. It pretty much will explain Geralt's like the, the Witcher 2 and whatnot. That's pretty cool. Animated sequences from The Witcher 2. That's pretty cool. Uh, but that's going to do it for The Witcher 2, guys. I know I came back after I said I was gone, but hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you.